This is another mini boss that's found in Senpo Temple, and he's got a ton of adds around him. You're definitely going to need to thin these out, and the best way to do this is to get the ones in the rafters first so they're not throwing things down at you while you're fighting. Then, once they're all down, the best thing you can do here is do a plunging attack on the boss to rip off one of his health bars. At this point, you'll be on the ground with two or three enemies and the boss. These enemies aren't overly aggressive, you can thin them out if you want like I do here, but you don't have to if you know what you're doing. The boss is going to come after you right away and he hits for like 10 hits in a row. You're literally going to deflect as fast as you possibly can and then back away because he's going to do an unblockable attack. The main danger here is of you becoming posture broken because if you become posture broken during this combo you're going to die and he may hit you with the follow up attack if it ends right at the end of that combo. If you're having trouble with this aspect, you can use Goken Sugar. It's a consumable that will allow you to take less posture damage so you can survive those combos. Another really helpful tip is that the Shinobi Firecracker works amazingly on this boss. You can use it about every 15 to 20 seconds. There's a cooldown where he won't be stunned if you use it so you can't just spam it. But you can use it when he's right about to do one of these combos to prevent yourself from having to deal with it. 